Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to your show, which is through Lotus World Media. And today we have an amazing personality, Hamesh Yadavji. And uh, I welcome you, Hamesh Ji, onto our show. I hope you are having a good afternoon. Namaskar and thank you very much. Uh, we, uh, I'm very happy and glad to be over here. And thanks a lot to invite me on this uh, special call. I know this is the right platform to share the few ideas and thoughts. And I knew you have a really good audience and they always want to learn more. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me over here. Much appreciate. Much appreciate. Um, so let's start with uh, the very basic question. Tell us about yourself. Uh, about myself, uh, it's not really I'm a big celebrity, but I give a little bit uh, what I have done so far and about my journey. As you said, my name and uh, I practice as a behavior expert and uh, analyst actually. Used to practice as a clinical psychologist. Now, from last seven years, I practice as a behavior analyst. Mm -hmm. Helping the people in the day to day life, either the personal life or business life, with my special psychological method to help them out in the, to, in the problems they face in day to day life. Mm -hmm. So, this is our due right now, and um, to the talks for the public, you say, I do international talks nowadays. I write books and blogs too. And uh, I'm family man. I have a son. He's six year old now. I love to connect with the people, especially like-minded people, and those uh, helping community, and they're growing, and they can understand other people. So that's my passion too about the human behavior. From last 24 years, I'm doing only one thing. Yes, there was a time when I moved to Australia. So initially, like yeah, I done a few other stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Like a, you can say every single kind of old things we are done at that time. Mm. My wife and me moved in this country. Mm. Now I have family. So this is all a little about me right now working with the, with the community, mm -hmm. especially the South Asian community, uh, working the different religious group as well. Temple and Gurdwaras do the public speaking there, helping people as a voluntary. So that's I do. Uh, recently, we started a organization um, part of that. So with the global, mm -hmm. you, I'm doing all this more voluntary and as a professional as well. And being a family member, look after the family, enjoying fatherhood. Mm -hmm. Let's go down a little bit of memory lane. Um, your school days, like, okay, how were you by then? Uh, mm -hmm. in terms of your studies or in terms of your uh, childhood behaviors and how, how, how was that phase? How was that time zone? Uh, look, it uh, really, uh, as soon as you ask this question, straight away I've gone back in my childhood. <laughs> uh, I was not a kind of a kid who was brilliant <laughs> in studies, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, little naughty guy um, because I'm the youngest one in my family. Ah, as you know, the young kids, they have more freedom and flexibility from the parent side too. So uh, my father was in defense. He uh, was so lucky and we can say blessed. He uh, traveled a lot when I was a child. Mm -hmm. And till the time, you know, like in growing up till the time, every single time I used to travel. And India, I'm from India, as you know. So in India is like itself is a kind of world. I must say that because there's a lots of variety in different languages, the food, even the weather as well. Mm. So I travel a lot. My mm. father was a defense is a transferable job. So as you know, defense people, they stay three years there, the three years again. So uh, with my father, I travel from like Kanyakumari to up to the Srinagar. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then uh, my father, he asked me when I was in grade five, can you want to go to the boarding school? And I said, yes. So after that, I went to the boarding school. So yeah, in boarding school, in the life had been changed totally. And after that, I just, uh, boarding school, I spent then two years I spent after that when I was year nine, mm -hmm. two years with my mother. Mm -hmm. And that again, I'm back to the boarding school. So mm -hmm. since then, I'm still out, out of the, away from the families all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the childhood was a little bit, uh, you know, boarding school different away from the family. So, yeah, that's all. But academically, and uh, I was never a kind of say extraordinary student. Mm -hmm. yeah, so above average, we can say in one way. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, my good strength was always to, to be connect with the people. Beautiful. That's the, my main thing which I notice. Mm-hmm. I'll always be good with the friends and families and yeah. So and being a, my father was a uh, def, defense person, so a little bit disciplinary environment there. They were still cool as well. Mm-hmm. So that's my childhood education in different places as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Taken for in Madhya Pradesh, my I study there. Then I moved to the uh, um, Rohatak. There's a hostel. I did my honors psychology and postmaster master days in psychology postmaster from Gandhi Medical College, Bhopal. Mm-hmm. So, this is my studies then. And the only subject which I learned in my whole life that's a psychology. Other than psychology, I never learned anything <laughs> on a student. Even if you ask me to do something, I don't know, honestly. Yes, human being is my passion. I love to do that, serve there. So that's the only thing which I do, and still I love to do that. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, when when did you move to Australia? Uh, 2008, actually, April. Okay. Yeah, I still and... have for 30, the first May we came here in Australia, mm. in Melbourne. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And what what uh, made you what what brought you here? Uh, actually, there was two reason at the moment at that time. I recently got married at that time. I got married in the, in uh, two thousand six November, and my wife she was studying at that time. She was doing a MBA in finance. Mm. So I was in Jalanda, Punjab. So working mm. in Guru Nanak Mission Hospital as a clinical psychologist. Mm. In Punjab, actually, the environment is like totally different. You know, I never saw such kind of environment around the world. So in Punjab, there's everybody talk about the overseas, 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 overseas. Mm. So I got influence, honestly. I'm honestly mm. telling you, because in hospitals, all the doctors, nurses, everybody talk about the we want to go overseas, overseas, <laughs> overseas. Even the, we work in a psychiatry department, de addiction center. So we were few people there actually. Mm. So we all applied for overseas. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, she wants to say, study further and she wants to study more. Well, let's mm. go to Australia. Mm. So she was a little bit apprehensive initially, then said, okay, you want to go there? And first thing is that, and second, one of my friends, mm. he came here two years earlier than me. Mm. He used to call me almost like twice in a month, look, come here, mm. come here, come here. And he said, like, don't waste your life there. You don't spoil your life. You being a psychologist, you can't grow there. You have to come over here. Mm. And there was a both thing, pushing and pulling, both thing happened. Mm. Mm. And uh, I was pretty young at the moment. Mm. No mm. doubt, like a finance was a big motivation. Okay. Yeah, that was a big motivation. Uh, because I, as I said to you, I was always away from my family. Mm. Um, a kind of always independent person. Mm. So even any kind of decision, any kind of decision, I tell us, so I'm the independent. I know never ever look at anybody about mm-hmm. any point of view. Just a little. so I was thinking I'm young and I had to do something different. So mm. that was the reason I came down here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did 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 the family attempt to do a little bit of influence onto your thought or decision whether to allow you to go or not go or support? Uh, actually, uh, initially they they kind of say, uh, "Why are you going there? You are doing good over here. You work in a big hospital, and you are, this is your initial initial stage of life as a professional. Mm. You will grow there, mm. and you know different country, different people. It's hard, and this even my few friends suggest me as well. Those working the same is like, like it's hard. Mm. And I know it's hard, but uh, I think I should go once. I need mm. to explore the life. If I didn't find the really much to my knowledge never go away. I can use this knowledge anywhere, anytime. Yeah. So then after my, because my father wasn't uh, passed away a long time ago, my mother and brother, they said, okay, go there. And my in-laws supported me too. So, okay, mm-hmm. you guys, this is your decision So, And that's the only thing they supported me. Initially, they asked me a few questions and um, give a confidence, you know, everything will be all right. I can mm-hmm. handle the challenge. I know there will be challenges, but I will handle uh, yeah, I came over here. And when you came here, like how were those initial three, four years of landing and settling in Australia? How were those for you? Oh, uh, because uh, the when the reality hit, the life is totally changed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, came down and my friend was good, actually, no doubt. Mm. 
squatting all the time and came here. The biggest barrier I noticed at the time, the culture barrier. Oh, okay. Yeah, the biggest barrier for me. My mm-hmm. wife, she started in uni, yes, yeah, she was studying. So she started going there. Mm-hmm. And for me, because it, uh, English is not my first language, it's her mm-hmm. language. Mm-hmm. So I was struggling. Honestly, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter my degrees, like a master's, postmaster, still like accent in there because I was struggling initially. Mm-hmm. And looking for that job uh, in my field and then applying. And what happened? The circle which I got at the moment, and that when my friend had a circle, mm-hmm. that that his circle became my circle then. Mm-hmm. And the, all those people, they're working mm-hmm. in different areas. Mm-hmm. And I was struggling kind of at the moment of thinking, probably not anyhow, just struggling with the thoughts at the moment. Mm-hmm. How to approach to mm-hmm. find a job in this my mental health mm-hmm. area. Mm-hmm. And I was doing few things, but the surrounding at the moment, they really influenced me very negatively. Mm. You, know, you, are, you, you study all the things in India, it's not recognized over and this and that. And somehow what happened, I still I don't know, honestly, <laughs> after two years, I got influenced by them. Mm-hmm. I didn't approach any way, mm-hmm. anywhere in my own industry. And then I'll start working with them in different areas. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. And the working, 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 and what happened then? Start making money within ten days. Mm-hmm. I got the job, ten days and working, and then got a kind of blind. Mm-hmm. My wife is studying, and the pressure of the fee, all this thing. Mm. Now I lost. Mm. I totally lost there. Mm. Totally lost. And after a couple of years, I was thinking, my wife is supporting, like very supporting, very supporting. I used to live at, you know, in the city at the moment. At mm. I was doing a renting a studio. We both have one wife living there, paying the high rent there, not out, making money good as well. Mm. One day I was at a railway station, I moved to Sunshine then. I was thinking what I'm doing here. Literally I was thinking, and I sit down on the bench there, mm. One train passed, second train. I was thinking, I'm here for what purpose? Mm. What's mm. my purpose? I'm not came to do this old jobs. Mm. And you will not believe it, but what happened at that moment, I mm. went out the station and there was Indian grocery shop. I've been there. Mm. The guy, like he knows me, kind of become friend. Mm. I went there to just sit to them. And mm. over there, this guy came to me. He said, hello, Dr. Saab. Mm thinking, who is this guy? Well, how do you know me? He said, you used to work in Jalandhi Gunam. Yes, well, my friend was admitted in your department. And that hit me again on the mm-hmm. same day. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. This is, uh, my purpose was something else. And what I'm doing, I'm doing the different jobs. And then I realized I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. I canceled my trip, which I supposed to go back to the home, done nothing. Nothing at all. Just my wife and what happened? Nothing. Just I'm not feeling well. Emotionally, it was like drained, all totally drained out. Sitting, mm-hmm. sitting, what to do? Then I Google APA, mm-hmm. Austin mm-hmm. Society. Mm-hmm. Google they download the their form. Uh, how to get the registration as a psychologist? Download the form, fill it up. Whatever they ask, I supply everything, all the documents, a few. Uh, uh, working hours, they asked me okay, how many hours you work in the clinical, all this stuff I get from the India mm. and applied for them. And after five weeks, I got the UR registered psychologist in the industry. Very good. Very good. Very good. At that time, I was really shocked and mm. surprised. No, mm. believe yourself. Yes. Trust yourself. Yes. People, <coughs> sorry, people don't know about you. Mm. Mm. They say they all own fear version yeah just they say their own belief mm. that they mm. don't know what you mm. we sometimes get trapped it's a human nature mm. it's a human nature mm. so i got trapped and i mm. took a really long time to come out of that then i started working then i said uh, okay i started working more uh, in that industry and i joined some um, institutes and started working as a coach mm-hmm. yeah. 
So that's our change, totally safe change and working at the same time all the jobs as well. Mm -hmm. uh, company mm -hmm. and then move to words gracefully. Mm -hmm. I didn't start mm -hmm. straight away. My mm -hmm. top ones happened gracefully. Mm -hmm. What same time it, I took uh, around two years mm -hmm. to start my own independent business. Mm -hmm. So this uh, journey, uh, I know there's a uh, lots of ups and downs coming emotionally, especially. Mm -hmm. By the goal of this, I never ever like face any other challenges. Mm -hmm. Just only the emotional challenge I face. No mm -hmm. physical, no finances, no any issues in relations. Never ever happen with mm -hmm. me. Mm. The biggest thing which I happen is just my, I lost my own track. Mm. Mm. That was the biggest challenge I faced at the mm. time. Otherwise, so good. And now getting better. And that pain actually always helps me to mm. help people. Mm -hmm. How much time did you, uh, or how much time were you away from your core that you got lost or you, you worked? Oh, around, the, I spent five and a half years actually. Five and a half years. Yes, yes. And that prime time. Yes, that prime of, time. of that journey. Yes. Right. Now, I, I'm pretty sure even if you have lost that five and a half years, but that lost would be adding as a fuel or, or as a kicker to you to do more to recoup that lost time. And it, it might be becoming an energy for you. Do, do you think that way? Do you take Absolutely. it positively that way? How? Absolutely. I, I lost in the sense that I lost my spirit. You know, because mm -hmm. I believe I was born for something else. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, in five and a half years, I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. I learned because I always open to learn. Mm -hmm. And as a behavior expert, I learned a lot in this society, in the culture, mm -hmm. how people behave. Because it's a multicultural country, as you know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So I interact with different kinds of the people. Different mm -hmm. people all this time. Uh, okay. And uh, there's a funny thing I would like to share here. Uh, it was, uh, I was living in the Flinders state. So mm. there was a guy, he's from um, Africa. Mm. Mm. They, uh, I go everywhere I used to talk to people. I mean, that's, I love to talk to people. Mm. When the guy used to talk, I'm, honestly, I'm not able to understand him at all. Mm. Mm. My wife is able to understand everything about what he's saying. I was not able to understand. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so whenever we go out anyway, Always like I'm confident to talk gradually. I learn within two or three months. I pick up the whole conversation. How people mm. go ahead. Mm. But this thing funny happened with me, and then I learn more. Mm. Uh, mm. Then I learn more about the how the system works over here, the government system how works, how people mm. support each other, mm. Mm. community how it works, mm. so the education system how it works. So I learn a lot, a lot, no doubt, a lot, mm. lots of things I learn. Find the right people, the culture, and more about this how people supporting over here especially mm. in the community point mm. of view mm. how they're supporting here so that's what is a really good journey learning a lot mm. yeah stretch myself mm. and all the way emotionally psychological thinking wise physically as well stretch a lot that's giving me all the time with like, thanks to god and thanks to the people at the moment that supported me mm. yeah that's always grateful for that moment actually do, do you read like, okay, you read people, that's one part, that's core part. But other than people, do you read any books or do you, um, do you read blogs or do you, do you read something online or offline? Yes. Uh, or, and is that a regular part of your daily life, daily routine? Yes, that's a, that's a regular part for my life now. Mm. Uh, at that time, I was not reading much actually. Mm. Okay. Mm. But now, reading and writing. Mm -hmm. part of my life. Uh, almost every week I finish one book. I shall. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Uh, what are those subjects that you read? Like more genre about, or subject? Yeah, more about the personal development and the okay. psychology. This is a more or leadership or training the psychology. Mm -hmm. Personal the communication. Communication is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. so more about that. I mm -hmm. when I write as well. So. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you reckon, um, uh, this is a little away, but I think related, uh, physical health has an impact on mental health, do you think? Yeah, the both thing has a vice versa effect. Okay. okay. Yeah. Physical effect can change your emotions. Mm. When you feel pain, how mm. you feel that? Mm. Mm. If you are stressed, how mm. you feel that? 
Mm. Body get lethargic. Mm. Depressed people they lose their energy. So mm. they affect mm. vice versa. Mm. Not just a physical effect, mental. No, they work both. Mm. 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 The cognition and the behavior mm. they together. They are not separated. Separate. Okay. They okay. together. Yes, mm. they have impact on each other. Mm. Mm. Physically, someone is damaged. Suppose, for example, mm. psychologically, if you are strong, mm. you can can cure yourself with your psychology. Mm. Mm. With mm. your thoughts, you can cure. Mm. And lots of lots of example out there in the market. Mm. Mm. In the world, lots of people. With, with people call it a willpower. It's not it's just a willpower. It's your thinking. It's your thought process. It's your emotions that heal people. Mm. Even the people maybe, uh, for, I'm share quickly with you. Maybe you hear about the placebo effect. Mm. Placebo effect, what it does. Mm. For example, this studies has been done about this. Mm. They pick two. They pick two groups. Mm -hmm. One group, they have they have some kind of disease. Mm -hmm. One group, they really they giving a medicine to them, mm -hmm. real medicine, just medicine made for that issue. Mm -hmm. Other side is a pure and pure sugar coated mm -hmm. There is nothing there actually, nothing inside it, kind of any salt or any substance that can cure the person. There was nothing. Okay, and the two groups and they start giving to them. And after the finishing the course, and mm. they find out the both go <laughs> group code very well. <laughs> <laughs> How? I tell you the, like a, what is the really magic happened mm. Mm. when they giving that medicine? There was nothing that's pure placebo, this pure and pure, they say sugar coated tea. Mm. They giving them the belief and confidence that this is a really well, very good medicine. It can help you to cure. Mm. It start mm. happening. Mm. You start believing in that. And when they start believing in them, they start getting cured. Nice. So what happened? The physical illness cured by the just your mm. thought and thinking. Perception. Yeah, the thinking is a belief they have. Mm. The mm. trust mm. they have. Yes, it can help me. So it mm. helps actually. Mm. 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 Who 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 uh, I wouldn't say who is, but I would say who are your sources of inspiration. Uh, uh, in like uh, always, there's different people in your life that always inspire you. Mm -hmm. My inspiration nowadays is right now is my son. Too good, too yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because he's immediately all the time, and I see because the kids mm -hmm. they really teach you a lot. Yes, a lot. Okay. Yes, they teaching you how to be, how you have to be in the situations. Mm -hmm. Mm. Someone tell you how a kid? No, mm. kid always curious to learn. Mm. That's mm. the beauty, actually. Mm. They never judge you. They never say, "I know this." And they're always open to learn. Yes. So I learn from my son a lot, a mm. lot, a lot. He just mm. six, mm. and that and the emotional is that my inspiration too. Mm. The situation I've been through, the challenges I have faced. Mm. So I learn a lot of the challenges. So mm. I want to prepare my son as well. No doubt he going to face the challenges too in his life. Mm. There's no challenges in the life is finished. Mm. <laughs> they, so that's a, uh, that's the main thing. Mm. So his impression for me. Mm. Out of the family, my mm. father passed away, but he's mm. always my biggest pressure. Mm. Even uh, I write in my book about him a lot. Mm. Mm. What mm. kind of learning I learned from my father. Mm. Mm. Then. There's the leaders, mm. the leaders that is helping a lot in the people, a lot of people in this community. Mm. 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 That. Because I can't specify anything like this. Yeah, uh, no doubt I follow pretty much Mahatma Gandhi as well. Mm -hmm. Gandhi, uh, like he's an ideal inspiration about his life. You no, know, he had been through different situations in his life. Mm. So I read about him, and he always inspires me. Mm. 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 Biggest impression in, in big leaders, we think the international figure, he's the one of the international figures. Mm -hmm. Swami Vivekanand, mm -hmm. always big inspiration for me. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah the, the, on in modern world, there's a lots of leader like Tony Robbins, he's helping a lot, lots of people. Yes. Brendan Brashar, he helps too. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I'm their student as well. I love right. Right. And one of my mentors, actually, her name is Sharon Pearson. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's one of the biggest inspiration. Her life was totally like a downhill and she was a kind of depressed in her life. Mm-hmm. And she's grown up. I'm, I know her personally now. Mm-hmm. And that, she's, she's my mentor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, with these all inspirations within mm-hmm. the family, close blood, mm-hmm. far off, unknown, mm-hmm. what is that one common thing you find across all these people? And yes. it, it, yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, the common thing I find, uh, <clears throat> my son is a young guy. Mm-hmm. Say, he's a little bit separate because mm-hmm. he's more attached emotionally. Okay. Mm-hmm. Except him, mm-hmm. all other, including my father, my personal mentor mm-hmm. right now, mm-hmm. they have servant heart. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing I notice actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They helping other people. Mm-hmm. They believe in contribution. Mm-hmm. They believing to raise other people first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's main thing which I notice actually. Mm. They're always ready to give, to help, mm. to support mm. the people. Right. You find me a lot. And I'm pretty sure one common thing with so from so many inspirations and you also have learned our learning. And equally you made a mention that you you write uh, say blogs or you've written book or books. Yeah. And how do you put the learnings into practice and give back to the community or to the society as much as you can? How are you doing that? Uh, theoretically, as you said, uh, writing, mm-hmm. that's one thing. Mm-hmm. Because uh, if you have knowledge, mm. then you can think differently. You can generate the ideas. Mm. So if you don't have ideas, you can't change. Mm. Mm. But nowadays, the knowledge is not the only thing happen because knowledge is a like everywhere, you know. Mm, mm. Google is the pretty big good nowadays. You can learn whatever you want to learn. Yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. There was mm. a time there was a, there was a lack of knowledge. But now it is not really lack of knowledge. Mm. I share my personal experience when I write mm. because you need to share with the other people as information. Mm. The biggest challenge nowadays is the how to use that knowledge. Mm. That's the challenge mm. because knowledge is everywhere. So I practice that. Mm. I practice in my day-to-day life. Mm. Practice with my clients. Mm. I have clients, I share with them, teach them, I take accountability and um, then they come and they see the, how far they go now they, mm. when they practice. Because mm. knowledge is just give you procrastination. Mm. Mm. So that's one thing in personal life because I'm practicing nowadays. So I help my clients, myself as well. I do actually... Uh, that's why I said my son is my biggest inspiration, so I became a role model for him. Mm. Pretty good, like I manage myself. Mm. I discipline my life. I chart it out, everything we plan. Even he's a six now. Mm. And we plan every day. Before we go to the bed, we plan what we're going to do tomorrow. Ah, okay. That's part Beautiful. of the practice. That's a part of the practice. Mm. Okay, my clients, my clients, I have varied of the clients. It's like I'm not specific with the one particular you know, and I'm just going to help these people. No, if I can help, I can help. If I can't help, I say start away and go somewhere else. So right now I have a client who is working in real estate mm-hmm. and does have a relationship issues. Mm-hmm. Those have a relationship issues. So I'm very authentic in that. I have more than 20 years experience of relationship, married 12 years. Before mm-hmm. married, I have a relationship too. Mm-hmm. 20 year relationship experience. Mm-hmm. So I know. Even my wife, if someone go and ask her, she can tell okay, what kind of relationship we have. Mm. I'm not saying we don't argue, we argue. The argument time is honestly makes maximum one, two, half minute. That's it. <laughs> so there's a, no more than it. So that's more, more authentic. My every single relationship, if I sit and check, mm. every single relationship, either there's a few relationship, the five to seven person, because mm. I didn't spoke to them for a long time. They are kind of, I can't say they're really very positive, neutral, or all other relations, they are very positive. Mm-hmm. Very positive. That's even more authentic. And then I believe in that. Mm-hmm. I'm using all this practice in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's giving me more authentic. With my clients, 
I have lots of testimonial. Mm -hmm. You can check on my website. I can share with you. Yep. So that first time I give you more authenticity. Yes, they get into the mm -hmm. in their life. Right, right. When I use, that's true. It's not, yes. Amazing, amazing. Um, now that we are into this phase of Corona and we have been through this for almost now six, seven months. Yes, yes, yes. And on and off, I read here and there that it has impact on mental health. It has impact on relationships. It has impact on the physical health as well. That is why I asked the other, uh, mm -hmm. like the previously, uh, the, the impact of physical to mental or mental to physical. Mm -hmm. Now, what should we people, what should we all do so as to maintain our sanity okay during these times basically yeah i've got like actually i've got this way and i have done a couple of webinars on this mm -hmm. topic actually mm -hmm. start with the students and then the issues then university and uh, then a couple of webinars mm -hmm. so in this situation um like in the in last five six months Nowadays, people start getting used to this. Mm. Initially, there was a really big challenges. Okay. Even in Australia as well, mm. the first month, mm. they got a, like a mental health course, even societal prevention is 98,000 calls in one month. Can you believe that? It's mm. like increased like, a, I think, three to four times more mm -hmm. within a month. Mm. Okay. So, Relationship issues, I'm still I'm getting the quotes from the people. The relationship issues are like, like that. The people inside the house, because they never used to live that long in their life. Mm, mm. And they lost their certainty. Mm. Because once they lost their certainty, and the issues start happening. Mm. What happened? I just want to share a few things, then I give the answer to mm. what mm. we can do in such kind of circumstances. Mm. There's a human needs, the psychological mm. needs. Mm. When the psychological needs are not fulfilled mm. or fulfilled by in a dysfunctional way, mm. then problems start happening. Mm. So certainty is a, one of the need. Okay, certainty mm. means need of safety. Mm. 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 So people, when we get up, they they know what uh, what time they need to wake up, what time they have to get ready for the office, and what time they reach the office. Okay, so mm. what everything is fixed. Mm, mm, so automatically, unconsciously, mm. everything is getting tick, 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 tick. Mm, mm, okay. mm. Going there, come back, office, everything fixed. Mm, okay. Mm. So that's giving them surety inside the mind. They confirm, they know what they are doing. Mm, mm. Once they lost it, mm. what happened then? Mm. They lose, Confused, lost, they lost their certainty. Mm. And to gain that certainty back, mm. they start arguing mm. they start yelling mm. when someone show anger on someone for what purpose mm. everybody has seen such kind of either someone in their house brother or father or the boss or wife or someone always try to control other person mm. Mm. how they control mm. to yell mm. Mm. show the anger mm. the controlling means to get the certainty Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Now they lost their certainty at their workplace, all this thing. Mm -hmm. What they're doing now? Mm -hmm. They don't know the functional way mm -hmm. to bring the certainty in their life. Mm -hmm. And they're using dysfunctional way to bring the certainty to their life. And dysfunctional ways are going fight. Mm -hmm. That's the one need. Mm -hmm. The second need is need of adventure. Mm -hmm. You can say need of uncertainty. Mm. Everybody loves to have fun and surprises. Okay? Mm. Mm. We go out to listen to music, do the party or seeing the friends, all this thing. Mm. Okay? But this moment, what happened? Mm. They used to go in the office, talk to the friends, okay, have fun or these things happening. Man. And this lockdown, during this lockdown, what happened? They just staying at the home. Yes. How long they can watch the TV? Yeah. Watching the TV more than enough, actually. <laughs> they used mm. to watch maybe one hour, two and a maximum two hours, but now they watch four or five hours. Mm. When mm. someone is sitting in front of four or five hours, what would happen? Brain gets crazy. Emotionally, they go down. Mm. And the other partner is going to be, you know, you're just sitting holding the couch and you're doing nothing. Mm. 
to to create that advance mm. in their life mm. they start doing a drama inside the house mm. 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 so that's another way to fulfill the need of Sorry. adventure mm. creating the drama mm. Mm. people those mm. maybe in so in the real life mm. they drink and they do the then drama mm. probably in neighborhood anyway mm. so that's a purpose that, these are the unconscious need i'm sharing with you Mm. Can by Anthony Robbins. So mm. these are the needs actually. Mm. So when and the third and fourth I quickly share with you need of love and connection, mm. the significance. These are two another needs. Significance like importance and love connection feel for other. Empathy. Yeah. Empathy. Yeah. So these are the four needs actually. Mm. They are not met in proper way. Mm. They are all met by dysfunctional way. Mm. The mm. dysfunction happen what? Something is dysfunctional. It means it's not good for you not good for other people not good for society and not good for the kid then the good stuff in the life mm, mm, mm. and you do the functional good for me good for other good for the society mm. good for the create the good things mm. that's functional so mm. these functional things start happening and mm. they have no clue because this is pure and pure by the your subconscious mind and subconscious mind is more than 95% yes mm. okay so that start happening Mm-hmm. now people they fulfilling they need induction this functional way and they fighting arguing screaming yelling all this stuff start things happening mm-hmm. so because of this lots of things change and people even think, looking for the divorce mm-hmm. i got the few calls mm-hmm. in situation by but now they are pretty good mm-hmm. and what we can do now mm-hmm. once you have the awareness and knowledge mm-hmm. Yes, I'm losing something. Mm. So you can create the mm. certainty. You can create your own timetable. Mm. You can create that in your own house. Mm. You plan what you want to do tomorrow mm. or night before. Mm. Mm. That simple thing is that very simple. Exercise is not allowed, but you mm. can inside the house. Mm. Mm. Your wife is there. You are there. Rather than thinking what she's doing and seeing how you can help her. Yep. Yep. If she done something for, or your your husband done something for you, mm. so you can talk about to what have they done. If something is good, mm. only how you focusing right now. If you start focusing everything negative, 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 what gonna happen? Everything negative comes there. Negative, yeah. For example, I'm, I'm touching base over here. Do you, mm. Suppose I ask you, close your eyes and check around. You know, close your eyes through the mind eye. Check around. is a blue color blue or sky blue dark blue 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 facebook blue 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 now open your eyes find me how many blues around you yeah what won't happen you want to just see the blue color mm. why ask you there was any red as well but you skip that mm. right true. true once once you bought a your new car mm. initially when you bought you think oh it's a unique car very few people has such kind of car yeah after that when you go on the road you see oh every second person is similar car yep yeah happens yeah. or not yes yes <laughs> even the pregnant lady actually when they pregnant so before that you never saw any pregnant lady <laughs> if you <laughs> come to pregnant in, in your house you know, mm. wife or your mother in law or oh, I'm sorry mother in law sister in law mm. and you see oh mm. there lots of <laughs> pregnant ladies around mm. why mm. why because the focus change Yeah. The same thing when inside the house and you focus on negative, negative, negative. Mm. What happens? There's only negative things happening. Negative. Mm. Mm. You need to change focus. Focus mm. inside the house always make it sure where your focus go. Mm. Where the focus go, your energy flows there. Mm. Mm. If your energy is going towards more negative, it's damage other people and damage you. Mm. Mm. This thing they can do. Mm. 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 I'm not saying it, just be a positive. You know, be realistic. realistic yeah yes yeah, yeah. focus there and be realistic mm. i want to make a clear picture over here some people think oh maybe he's talking about the positive you know positive suppose i'm my backyard and uh, i think oh there's no weed in my backyard there's no weed in my backyard. so i'm thinking positive but mm. you think there's there not going to be weed there no definitely there's going to be weed there there would be yeah yeah so i need to be realistic, realistic. Mm. but focus on more positive oh this will i can clean it easy man mm. and after that my flowers going to be grow much better better mm. Mm. that's the thing actually focus mm. 
energy flows there mm. and need to think in that way mm. Mm. so how to create a certainty this thing okay then uh, i do remember when you start talking to start talking about the perception mm. Mm. the perception make massive difference in our life mm. the perception actually root cause in behind the perception you know, what have you learned so far mm. the kind of the belief you have mm. that make difference Mm. The belief is most of the belief more than 85% belief mm. is built by the age of 7. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a big, big big surprising thing. Yeah. Over this body like I'm 40 plus now, mm. my still 85% of things which I do mm. is on my before 70 age. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The belief me, a belief in what why I'm sharing this belief and perception. Mm. People they have belief about the different perception cultural background as well. Mm. They talk about oh, ladies, the wife they have to do like this. Mm. Mm. Ladies oh, husband have to do this. Mm. The mm. old only create the image and perception in their mind, mm. the person have to do like this. Mm. 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 If their belief or the person doesn't match, mm. their mental image doesn't match with that was realistic. what happened there is a gap mm, mm, mm. the gap means conflict mm, mm. because what you de- looking for you have find that disappointment there mm, mm. that disappointment is the problem mm, mm. so this happened inside the families inside mm. during this lockdown mm. sad actually mm, mm, mm. there's lots of thing happening and people need to understand this yes. sometimes if they don't know better seek the help seek the help yeah yes um you made a mention that now you are a part of um uh, i think a social group or more purpose based group vedic global did yes. you made a mention yeah yes. so two parts what is vedic global in kind of brief and mm-hmm. when you associated yourself Mm-hmm. uh what is the activities or what is the objective of mm-hmm. the the institute or the group and your alignment as well and how are you taking that forward okay vedic uh, global group is very good initiative actually is mm. the uh, the the purpose of this group it is supporting the people those already doing the business or those who want to start their business mm. Mm. okay that's a main actually i'm giving this a core thing there mm. and how to the people those follow the vedic mm. Mm. another thing you know another words we can say say more people they believe in hinduism and mm. follow the philosophy of hinduism mm. is more about that mm. Mm. but in this group the beauty of this group is this vedic global is they are selfless people mm. they believe in helping other people mm. so in this group people like me and the other people as well we are all associated and joined hand together mm. let's help mm. we have lots of people they have different background and mm. well experienced knowledgeable mm. and happy to help other people mm. so in this group is what i see myself with a anyone who has any kind of issues and challenges or those who want to grow in their life or in their mm. business Mm. as a psychologist i can say that like, as the knowledge which i acquired in last 24 years mm. i have the people mm. as you know the business has a challenges too mm. it's not like a, you once you started the business is going flawless no the before that even a little bit statics more than 95% business fail in first 5 year oh massive mm. Okay. Mm. 95% business fail in first year why they started in a real with yes with excitement we're going mm. to do the business mm. they started it mm. what happened then where is the excitement going there mm. because just to know something it's mm. not just the business mm. the business has a different pillars mm. it's not a serving is a one part okay you are a good plumber it's okay you are you can help other people but do you think you can do the business as well no this is totally business is totally different thing mm. for the business you need a right mindset mm. for, for what is that meaning mm. meaning is that when you do the business you need to deal with the different kind of uh, clients mm. you need a structure in the business mm. but before everything you need a vision and the mission for what purpose you do the business mm. Mm. if you 95 business why they losing them because they don't have their vision mission the purpose mm. 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 they just go for the flow and less make the money 
mm. making mm. money for what purpose? Mm. Never think for that. Oh, making the money for to buy a big house and this and that, you know, that's not mm. proper. Mm. First thing, what we do in this group, we helping the people. Mm. Even they think they go out of track, they're losing the money or they're losing the business or something happening. So mm. why are they lacking? They have all the resources. People come and go in their businesses. They not stay there longer. Mm. Mm. What mm. purpose? What happening? Mm. What's the gap there? Mm. So for my as what I see so far myself is this my job is to help the people to mm. understand the psychology behind the business. Mm. Because mm. in the business, there's a different thing. Mm. The structure is there, mm. people is there, uh, how to implement the strategies. The business studies is there actually. Mm. Mm. The big people is what is this become the business person? This just in the business. Once mm. you go in the business, it's like you open the bakery, you're going to bakery, you open, you're going to open your bakery, closing down your bakery, looking up the account, all this, what happened then? You have limited time. You just go there, hired paid job for yourself. Mm. And after what happened, you burn out. Yep. And the, because of that, in the family suffer, your health suffer. Mental health, physical health suffer. Mm. And then what happened? Mm. Even, uh, I'm adding a little bit over here. Studies has been done, the one of the longest studies, mm. and they asked the question to people at the end of their life, what's the biggest thing make difference in their life? Mm. No one single person said the money. No. Mm. This, the connection, relationship. Relationship, yep. This yep. make difference. Yes. Even this, yes, I remember now, there's a lady, she wrote a book. She's a nurse in Australia. She wrote a, wrote a book, but the, what are the five biggest things in the, regrets in the life? Mm. Mm. Okay, she wrote a whole book about that. Mm. Even the old people those lived their life, even no one said a single thing. They said, I wish I didn't work that hard. Mm. Mm. I wish I could spend more time with my family. Mm. These are the regrets. Mm. So in that business, once you indulge in the business, there's a problem that happen. So you're losing everything. So for what what I do, what I can help them people to mm. un understand what's the purpose, the mission. Mm -hmm. Psychology, how you can feel all the time excited and inspired to do the business mm -hmm. rather than going on to the business oh man again I have to go mm -hmm. you feel tired mm -hmm. because the personality make difference too mm -hmm. so this business what you're doing how you can manage with your personality mm -hmm. as I said 95% is subconscious mm -hmm. mind mm -hmm. that helps too mm -hmm. so that's the my main intention to have the people to with the right mindset with the right communication mm -hmm. the goal have the team so in the team, there's a like couple of people working there, more than five, ten people, and in that they have sub teams. So mm -hmm. how they can become a single team? Mm -hmm. That's my main target to help the people. Those mm -hmm. have any kind of emotional challenge in the business, we help to sit together, plan the emotional and psychological strategies in the business. Mm -hmm. We have more expert people; they can help in the business. My main focus just here between the two years. You need to get them more clarity with the heading because mm. people don't have the clarity with the heading in five or ten years. Mm. Mm. In business, we help them how to get the clarity, mm. help them to how to set the 90, 80 day goal plans, mm. 100 days, six months, like nine, nine months, one year, five year, ten year goals. Mm. Help them too. Mm. That's the thing, actually. That's my main in this group, very global. Mm. How we can help the people. Amazing. So, yeah. Amazing. And I, I think this help or or your core rich experience plus your interest starting from when we started talking one or two things that you made a mention one is communication and second is connecting with people mm -hmm. and the outcome is relationship mm -hmm. like the example that you gave of that lady who's written a book with five regrets is not mm -hmm. the money but more so with relationship so it becomes a no-brainer for anybody and everybody, be, be it in a job or be it in a business more so, because uh, business, uh, there are so many challenges. Mm -hmm. So nurturing your own mindset, working more on the business rather than in the business, mm -hmm. working on building up relationships, mm -hmm. connections, network, mm -hmm. uh, is very key, is very vital thing, which... Yeah. I don't think would be taught anywhere else and and definitely people should approach you to get the the guidance or those tips or tricks or a, a directional kind of support mm 
So what we do is, um, if it's okay with you, we will keep or we will put your contact details, your mobile number, your email ID, your Facebook page, your LinkedIn profile in the description mm -hmm. so that whosoever is watching this conversation today, tomorrow, times to come, uh, they can get in touch with you um, and take the help of your uh, rich experience, knowledge, uh, the, the connection, the empathy that you're carrying along. Would that be okay? Yeah, definitely. That's great, actually. I love to help the people. Mm. And, yeah, that's a, absolutely fine for me. Mm. They can contact me anytime. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So with, yeah, with this, I think we would conclude. And uh, one last message to people out there. One simple last message to mm -hmm. people out there mm -hmm. before we uh, end the session. Yeah. Uh, I want to say, I want to share this only four C's. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do in your life, mm -hmm. whatever doesn't matter what you do in the personal life, mm -hmm. professional life, or is, are you studying or planning to do some business? Mm -hmm. The first you need to be get clarity. Mm -hmm. Where are you heading? Mm -hmm. Must know where you're heading. Mm -hmm. See? Then is commitment, mm -hmm. consistency, and communication. Mm -hmm. So pretty much the rest is making um, sense for you. But I want to look, uh, talk a little bit about the communication. Mm -hmm. We communicate with our self maximum. Mm. 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 Okay? Mm. So how we communicate with ourselves? Mm. More than 60,000 thoughts come in our mind every day. Mm. 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 And the majority of them mm. negative. Mm. So what happens? When the negative thoughts come in your mind, that stops you, mm. holds you. Mm. And the source of this negative thoughts, majority of them based in your childhood. Mm, mm, Not mm. that you start blaming your childhood, but you can change with your conscious awareness. Mm, mm, mm. That happens. So that's my final suggestion or advice you can take. It. People must think about these forces. Get clarity, mm. become consistent, committed, and communication. How you communicate with yourself, how you communicate mm. with other people. Even you can see on the surrounding, if you start talking negative, mm. probably people start repelling. Mm. Okay, mm. when you're talking positive, inspiring, you can attack the people. Attack the people, yeah. 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 So that's I wanted to share. And yeah, yeah. thank you very much, uh, people, to invite me on this beautiful conversation. I feel so glad and to have come over here, share your experience, my experience. So happy to serve the people. Anything I can do, please feel free to ask me. Amazing. Thank you, Amish Bhai. Thank you very much from the bottom of heart. And thank you from our show uh, and our channel, um, Lotus World Media. And looking forward to build many more conversations like this so that we give back whatever we know, whatever we've learned uh, to people out there. Because I think they, they, they need this support. There's, there's uh, overflow, oversupply of information, but as you rightly said, how to put the correct information into the uh, the living perspective so as to progress. So, yeah, so thank you very much. And we catch up in, in the subsequent or in the next session on some other topic, right? Thank you very much. Have a lovely thank day. You. Thank you very much. Thank you.